Hey friends, Gator Bum here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking all about the Eli backpack from Mina Bay. is brand new to me. I'm excited to pack it up and try it out. It's no secret how much I love Mina Bay here on my channel. I love the brand. The quality of the nylon and the leather and all of the materials that they have is just really, really top notch. And I knew kind of looking at this backpack that it was going to be a really, really good one. Um, I'm going to go through the backpack um, just here briefly, try it on for you, and then I'm going to put the camera down and we're going to pack it up. Now, as far as color options for this Eli backpack, you have this kind of neutral color that you see here. I believe it was also launched in a black, maybe like a olive option. Um, don't quote me on that, I think. <laughs> but what they are releasing this week that I'm so, so excited about is a beautiful blush color. Um, they're releasing it in a couple of different accessory pieces and also this style backpack. So that color is going to be absolutely stunning on this backpack. So I wanted to make sure to kind of get this review out for those of you that are gonna wanna grab it. All right, so let's go through this bag here. It is made out of nylon and you have leather um, backpack straps that are very comfortable. You also have a nice sturdy leather grab handle here at the top. You have leather zipper pulls. And on the back, we'll just kind of start there and work our way around. You do have two hooks here on the back that you can attach this to a stroller or a wagon or a wheelchair or whatever you need here. You do have kind of that option here at the top of the bag. And then you have a luggage sleeve option, which is so good for traveling because this would make a fantastic travel bag, like for sure. Um, and on the bottom of this luggage sleeve, you actually have the option to zip it completely closed or leave it open. So you can use it as a luggage sleeve or you can use it just as a magnetic kind of pocket back here on the back of the bag. The pockets on the side of this backpack are ginormous. <laughs> like you can put any huge water bottle or cup that you wish inside the side pocket. If you wanna use this as a diaper bag or something like that, you could easily fit two bottles right here. For sure, the side pockets are very, very generous in size and they're very wide. Like you can fit a lot in these pockets. The front pocket here of the bag, you do have trimmed in leather. And then on the inside, you have two interior pockets as well as a key leash kind of hanging out over there in the side. But this front pocket is really big. You could fit like a large wallet or anything that you would need to grab for quickly. The main bulk of the bag opens up with double zipper pulls that go all the way down like halfway of the bag here. So right before this bottle pocket, but it opens up really, really big. You have a ton of room inside this one. You'll be able to see it better when I set the camera down, but you have a back zipper pocket as well as two elastic pockets. You have elastic side pockets. And then on the front of the bag here, you have another like slip pocket, zipper pocket, and two more pockets. So as you can see, there is a ton of organization with this backpack, which makes it perfect for like an everyday backpack, a work backpack, a diaper bag, a travel backpack. I really feel like it's one that can kind of grow with you in however you need it. I also like how the zippers are kind of hidden by the fabric there. So it's just a very cool like overall look, if you will. Throwing the backpack on really quickly so you can see how it looks on the body. You can obviously carry it just one shoulder like this. It is a traditional backpack, so there's not multiple ways that you can carry this one. It's just a backpack, <laughs> no crossbody or shoulder strap on this one. So you can carry it over your shoulder like that, or you can, of course, wear it both shoulders as a traditional backpack that it is. <laughs> Show you what it looks like on here. You can see that a little better. It's very, very um, comfortable to carry. All right, let's put the camera down so I can show you how this backpack packs up. All right, so here it is all packed up. This bag packs up so well. It actually makes a really fantastic um, travel bag in my opinion, and you guys are gonna totally laugh at me, but when I was walking through that bag with you just a second ago, I left out an entire pocket 
on the back of this bag. <laughs> There's like a laptop sleeve in the back. I'll show you that in just a second. I have it here sitting on my chair instead of my table because I feel like you can just kind of see it better this way. So we'll see, but let's go ahead and start down here at this bottom pocket. There's a nice smooth zipper, just like all of Mina Bay's zippers. And I have down in here a full size wallet. This here is a MZ Wallace large Crosby wallet. You can obviously fit any of the Mina Bay wallets down in here perfectly fine. Um, I was just happened to be in this one, so I just continued and carried over into this bag. This is just a kind of standard big size wallet. I love it. Um, it is really, really soft. And I actually think that this color kind of matches pretty well with that one. So. I have that down in the front. I don't have anything attached to this key leash down here. And then inside these two front pockets, I actually just have some gum and Altoids. And then I have my Clarity lip treatment stuff that I never leave without. I love this stuff lately. And then I also have my Touchland hand sanitizer. So just a couple of items here that I grab for all the time. As you can see, these side pockets are huge. They're wider than my hand. <laughs> so you can definitely fit any type of water bottle over here. I chose to put my big kind of Owala water bottle inside the bag because there is like an elastic area for that inside as well, which you'll see in just a second, but you could easily put it on the outside of the bag. Um, if I carry any type of a water bottle, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna try to put it inside whatever I'm carrying. Just personal preference, I don't like it on the outside as much. But over here, I do have my eyeglasses just tucked down in this little like leather case. And then I also have a full size um, hand cream and that fit down in there, no problems at all. Over here in this other side pocket, which is exactly the same, I just have a scrunchie and then I have Oh, my car keys. I did have my car keys down in there. <laughs> They're over on the counter. So I had my big O-Venture key ring and my keys. I am feeling kind of inside this pocket here and it feels to be neoprene lined. I'm not a hundred percent. I'd have to look up on the website to be sure, but it's definitely lined down there. So that's awesome for like any type of spills or anything like that. Um, it would dry really easily. So it's not this nylon material. It is uh, lined in something moving around to the back of the bag so I can show you that pocket that I did not point out earlier. <laughs> right here at the top, it's kind of hidden, which is why I missed it all together. Um, it is a padded laptop sleeve and the zipper goes all the way down, kind of halfway of the bag and you can fit probably up to a, gosh, I would venture to say definitely 13, 15 inch laptop, um, I mean, it's it's pretty big. This is a 12.9 iPad Pro, just for reference, um, and I still have like a ton of room in there. So um, I think you could fit a pretty large iPad back here. Um, but that's what I have just kind of tucked in there. And I have my magic uh, keyboard kind of attached to it there. So it's like a little bit like thicker. Back here, you also have that luggage sleeve that you can use as a pocket. I don't have anything in there. I typically leave those open, especially if I'm going to be traveling, I might need this sleeve, but you do have that option to kind of use that to put something in. Turning the backpack around so we can get into the main bulk of the bag. You guys are going to be shocked at what I could fit inside here. There's so, so much room. You have a lot of extra room kind of in this top part of the bag that you could easily put like a blanket or a sweater or anything like that that you might need. Um, there's just a lot of extra room here, which makes it kind of perfect to travel with. Right here sitting on top, I actually just have my headphones. These are um, like the Beat headphones. So they're kind of big and bulky and they fit down in this case and the charging cables and all of that. And that fits perfectly just kind of right here at the top of the bag. Then I guess I'll just pull out what's in the main bulk of the bag so that you can see all of the pockets and all of that. Um, I have the book that I'm reading just right there in front. Then I have my Erin Condren Life Planner. This is the hourly planner. I do have some tabs on it. And this is, I think, an 8 by 10 um, size, I believe. And then I also have my big... Aaron Condra notebook back there. And you can see there's no problems putting that in there whatsoever. This is an eight and a half by 11 size. So it's quite large, has like a big cover on it, coil bound. 
Um, I love it. It's like a productivity and notes layout. If I could kind of show you one. Oh, my son drew on that one. Well, you can see that one. <laughs> but there's like a um, like a square section here to kind of plan out your week, or that's what I use it for. And then you also have a line side. So I love this notebook. I show it in like all my videos because it's just it's just my favorite. I use it all the time. So that's everything that I have in the main bulk here of this bag. You have two elastic pockets in the back, two elastic pockets, and some additional up here, which I'll kind of zoom in in a second. And then you have two side pockets. You also have a zipper pocket back there in the back, which I believe I was using for my charger, but I think I took it, I did. I took it out, so I have nothing in that back uh, zipper pocket right now. Um, but over here, I don't have anything in that side pocket, but I did, like I mentioned earlier, put my big Walla water bottle in this side pocket just because i kind of like the look of it inside the bag it fits in there no problem at all this is a big one it is a well loved <laughs> um 32 ounce so nice big water bottle and it fit in there great moving on to these back pockets here i don't have anything in this one and then over here i just have my um, memory card holder. This is for like, all of my cameras and stuff. I keep all my cards in here and my portable charger. This thing is awesome. You have all of these different charging cords attached to it. And then you're able to see here on the front, like how much battery you actually have on it. So it's really cool. I always have that one with me. I'm going to try to do something different here. I really want you to see these pockets on the front of the bag. I'm just not sure the absolute best angle to do that in, but you can see you have a little slip pocket there. You have a zipper pocket and then you have two elastic pockets. It's so awesome. Like the internal organization on this bag is so good. Don't have anything. Oh no, I do have stuff in this front zipper pocket. I decided to put all of my small stuff. So instead all the stuff I typically would put in a pouch, but I decided to put it here in this zipper pocket. I have a lip mask here. I also have a bunch of other cosmetic type things, hair ties, lip gloss, lip liner, cuticle cream, face spray, eye drops. And let's see, is there anything else in there? Oh, I have a little travel like Burberry perfume also in there. So that's just where all of my little stuff was. Then in this small little kind of slip pocket here, I just have a couple of pens and my Apple Pencil for my iPad. Then in these two elastic pockets at the bottom, this one I have tons of snacks. Like I have three different chicken sticks and I believe three different mini kind bars all down in there. I could put more in, even in that pocket. And then last but not least in this pocket here, I have my Mina Bay small um, Mia pouch. This is in the set of three and in the color was this called poppy i believe it matches so well with this one i love it but inside here i just have like a little mini med kit for myself i have my on the go pill case down in there you guys have seen a couple times now and then i have just cough drops band-aids eye drops like all that kind of stuff down in this pocket so like a little mini med kit all right so that is everything i had packed inside this backpack Give you one last look up close here of it all empty so you can see like the quality of the zippers and all of the pockets. I really, really like it. I can see it being a great backpack for a ton of different things. All right, I think that does it for today's video. I sure hope it was helpful for those of you that were interested in the Mina Bay Eli backpack. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I will have this backpack linked as well as everything that you saw in my bag today should you want to shop any of those online. Um, until my next video, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye.